in need of a read this July? E. Murphini from the Fletcher Free Library joins us now with your monthly book recommendations. Um, and it sounds like you have some interesting programming going on this summer, too, that ties into this. Yes, uh, we're running a second season of our The Future is in Our Hands series, which is about environmental issues. Um, and we have this summer a summer environmental book club around that. Um, two of the books that two books that I'm talking about today are in that book club reading series. We've already talked about one of them, um, but one of them is all uh, is upcoming. So if folks want to join in, they can. Both of the books that I'm talking about are about uh, recent natural disasters in America and different ways that um, climate crisis is contributing contributing to and increasing those kinds of disasters. And so what's the first pick you have for us? We've got Fire Weather by John Valent, and that was, some of you might have heard of that one. That one was a 2023 finalist for the National Book Award, just came out in paperback, and we have plenty of copies at the library as well. That's about the two, uh, uh, 2016 Fort McMurray wildlife fire, uh, wildfire, excuse me, in Alberta, Canada. Um, a lot of us were were, remember that one because the clouds were dark, we were smelling the smoke, it went on and on. That was an incredibly destructive fire uh, that displaced thousands of people from their homes. And it was illustrative of this modern confluence of climate crisis factors, new weather behavior, drought and other and development norms and things like that, that are that are joining together to create new, new, uh, new relationships with these wildfires. And what's the second book you have for us? That one is also really interesting. Um, that's called Gunflint Falling, Blowdown in the Boundary Waters. We'll be talking about that Tuesday, July 23rd at the library. That's by Carrie J. Griffith. This is the 25th anniversary of a historic 1999 windstorm that went through the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness near Duluth, Minnesota. Over 20 million trees were knocked down during this um, windstorm. 60 people were injured, though fortunately no one was was killed um, and it was, it's a really interesting um, illustration of what happens with these increased windstorms that we're having how they can sweep across the whole country and then what happens afterwards with the blow down trees and um, how nature comes back in, in new ways in those areas interesting picks and of course you can find those at the Fletcher Free Library Emer Feeney thank you so much for the time and those recommendations thank you